all, so this is day 62 with our public harness and hopefully for us this um, is going to be Max's last full day in the harness. Um, he has an appointment tomorrow for an ultrasound and all being well, that's going to be um, the end of this part of our journey. So a whole mix of emotions at the moment, nervous, excited, a bit apprehensive. Um, we're sort of just waiting and um, I feel like there's been a lot of lead up to this um, to this day. Obviously, 60 odd days feels like such a long time when your baby's so small. It's such a huge chunk of their life. Um, so we're really hoping that um, Max's hips have continued to sort of develop in the way that they um, had hoped they would. You know, we did see quite a significant improvement at our last ultrasound. So I'm really hoping that's um, carried on and they don't feel like he would benefit um, any longer sort of being um, in the harness. So we'll just have to wait and see um, where we go with that. Um, when I think back to, you know, those first few days, sort of when I first started these videos and how I felt and all the questions I sort of had unanswered, like I feel like it's been such such a long journey, but it's also felt like it's been really quick at the same time. Um, I now feel like I'm really educated. I feel like I'm, um, you know, I understand more, you know, about something which I had absolutely no clue on before. Um, and I'm also able to help people and I know that I'm helping people with these videos which you know it gives me some sort of comfort I think these videos have helped me more than I thought they would um and if they're helping other people at the same time then you know that's just great um at the start when we went into the harness I couldn't find anything that I found relatable and obviously since I've looked a little bit further I've come across all the groups and that's been great but you know I just wanted somebody to give me like a day by day um what I can expect you know what I should be doing what I shouldn't be doing what I can do to like make things easier for me make things better for Max um so I'm you know I'm glad that this is doing that for people starting their journey now and um I'm still getting people contacting me all the time saying um that you know they've learned something that's been really helpful to them about nappy changing or vest changing or stuff like that and that just means everything to me you know I'm sending people links of like the clothes that I've got for Max because you know it's trial and error you know you want to be doing the best for them but you know at this time of year you need to make sure they're wrapped up so they can't just be wearing like if they're a girl like a dress or a long t-shirt or something like that like they need to have stuff that's warm for them and and that's not that easy all the time and it's not so easy just to upsize and all clothes because you know the shapes of the clothes don't suit the harness and you might not necessarily want to buy special hip displays of clothes or you know um you don't like them or they're really expensive which they actually are um on etsy there's quite a lot of money for a pair of trousers um so anything that i'm sort of learning and sharing with people and um, that's helping then is um it's, it's good for me it, it really helps me as well as much as it's helping other people um i mentioned that i was looking to pass on our sleepy head the one that i adapted to somebody that needs it um, and a lady reached out to me on facebook and i posted that off to her yesterday so i've asked her to let me know how her daughter gets on with it um i really hope it, hope it works for her as well as it worked for max because you know the last thing you want is your um baby struggling with sleep um whilst they're going through um, a million other things as well so um fingers crossed it works for her um, and I'm also now looking to pass on Max's uh, baby grow, so the ones that I bought from the uh, Marks and Spencer hip dysplasia range, um, they were actually the only things I kept out of that order i done um, sort of day one or two when he went into the harness. Um, they still fit, but they're just a tiny little bit tight and I just don't want to force his legs into anything um, unnecessarily. And like in this last week, I just want it to be like optimum. Um, so I'm going to be posting them um, in those groups and I'll send them off to anybody that could benefit from them um there's so much like passing on and good deed doing in those groups it's like it actually makes you realize that people are so friendly and helpful um and the world isn't like such a horrible place as a lot of people make it out to be like when you're in these situations so many people do just club together and that is sort of a community I'd never been part of before I never needed to be part of before um so it's a whole new experience and um the lady that I passed the sleepy head to I said to her you know I don't don't want you to pay for it or whatever you know I benefited from people doing sort of kind gestures for me when I first started so I just want to pass on the favor and she was like well I'm definitely going to be sort of following on um doing that as well so um 
yeah, that's sort of just really nice. Um, what else is going on? Uh, not much else really. Uh, we're literally just waiting now for tomorrow. Um, I will obviously share what happens tomorrow as soon as I can. Um, if possible, I might just take some um, video whilst we're sort of in the hospital with Max waiting, as I think it might be nice for us to have it um, for our memories, you know, from our first initial appointment, I remember that it was all such a blur and I wish I remember more about what was being said to me and stuff like that. So um, maybe I can capture some footage while I'm there to share, you know, to sort of so people can see sort of what it entails when you're going uh, to those sort of appointments. Obviously, if I can't, I can't. But if I can, I will. Um, and regardless, I'll sort of share the outcome, good or bad. Um, as always, I don't know what the outcome is going to be at the moment. This time, I'm sort of in a more positive place than I was when we went for our ultrasound last time, given I now know what that sort of uh, the progression had been. But as I said, after that ultrasound previously, the physios did say, you know, there is every chance it can go backwards at this stage. So um, don't get your hopes up too much. Like, be prepared for us to say it could be a couple more weeks. But um, fingers crossed that might not happen or won't happen. Um so yeah, but yeah, I'll I'll keep you posted um and share as soon as I know. But yeah, thanks. Catch you later.